Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with some trailer reactions. I just did the official teaser trailer for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. We're now doing the most recent Batman trailer. I said in that trailer, the week they dropped, my father had a heart attack. I was in the hospital the whole week. He's out now. Everything's fine. He's home. He's recovering. And I am now catching up on everything I missed that week. So these two trailers are coming out today. That's the reason why I just got Cobra Kai done in full. Marathon the whole season. They're all up. Up on YouTube already and all in full on Patreon. Check that out if you guys want. As far as this though, I thought it was interesting. I looked in IMDb just to find the name of one of the actors involved. And when I was looking at IMDb, the second in line, even ahead of Robert Pattinson, was somebody named Amber Sienna. And Amber Sienna is a woman who is quite beautiful. And I go through the database and she's in like 10 movies, and in every movie, she's casted as Party Girl, and she's in, like, a Venom movie, and a Fast and the Furious movie, and a Batman movie, and I'm thinking, like, is she, like, some sort of weird repeating character that is crossing over into all these movies and tying into Fast and the Furious, Marvel, and DC? Because kind of crazy, if you think about it. Go check me on this. I don't know if I'm insane, but I could have sworn she was in a Fast and the Furious movie a Marvel movie and a DC movie all as Party Girl. You could uh, tie all these universes together with this girl. And she's second in line ahead of Robert Pattinson, who's first Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman. And this trailer's called The Bat and the Cat, and we're jumping in. I seen all the other trailers. I know the Penguin's in it. I know the Riddler's in it. We have a stacked cast of characters. It's young Batman. It's everybody before they are who they are. I mean, it's a different spin on things, kind of like the Joker with Mr. Joaquin Phoenix. Amazing. I thought that was great. I mean, I feel like when DC doesn't try to make things connect and build on a universe, things end up okay. I've been pretty good with all their solo movies. The DC Universe is fine too. I have nothing bad to say about it. I just feel like when they go off and do things like this, it usually works out. And when they go dark and R-rated, I don't know if this one is. I forget. I forget if this is R-rated. But it's also the first Warner Brother movie I could think of that isn't on the deal with HBO where everything goes theaters and HBO. I mean, theaters are doing good again now. I've been to a bunch of movies over the holidays and... Theaters are packed. Theaters are sold out. Spider-Man was sold out everywhere for like days. So people are going back to the movies. HBO, I'm not going to be able to react to it. I loved being able to react to all these movies the day they drop 3 a.m. on HBO Max for you guys. You go back and look, guys. If you go look, I have reacted to at least a dozen HBO movies that are all Warner Brothers. Zack Snyder's Justice League was one of my highest watched videos. It might be like top three watched videos of mine of all time. So go check it out. If not, we're jumping in. This is the Bat and the Cat official trailer. That's how they start the trailer? Bruce Wayne. Interesting. Right. I wouldn't be bothering you here, but your people keep telling me you're unavailable. Yes, he's a little busy. You know, you really could be doing more for this city. I love the old look. It looks like 90s the firm kind of look. Philanthropy, but as far as I can tell, you're not doing anything. The look of the car, man. It looks like very familiar. Holy shit. I love this kind of look. The Riddler is asking for you. The killer left this for the Batman. Why is he writing to you? Andy Circus. You okay. came. I've been trying. Riddler's latest. It's all about the Waynes. If we don't stand up, no one will. You got a lot of cats. I have a thing about strays. Well then. The bat and the cat. It's got a nice ring. You new friend of yours? I'm not so sure. I dig it. I'm just here to unmask the truth about this cesspool we call a city. You're part of this too. He's up! How am I part of this? Oh, you're really not as smart as I thought you were. What is the twist? Way. All these years, you lied to me, Alfred. We all have our scars, Bruce. He's still away. He's involved in this? No, he's not involved. How do you know? Except for Delaney. Who are you under there? 
What are you hiding? Selena, don't throw your life away. Don't worry, honey. I got nine of them. It can be cruel, poetic, or blonde. I'm like, I'm actually when it's denied, really blown away by this. Violence, you may find justice. The answer is justice. I'm like not saying a lot because I'm actually like shocked at how much I'm digging this. Not that I wouldn't. It's just blowing me away. Guys, holy shit. Guys, I apologize for being so quiet through like 50% of that. I literally was like, holy crap. I can't believe how much this is like, I mean, not that I didn't think it'd be great. I'm not trying to knock it. It just was blowing me away with the shots, the scenery, the cinematography and everything. I mean, it looked amazing. I was saying it multiple times. I'm sorry if I said it too many times. I just love that look. I love the look of the way they were shooting it. It looked like the Untouchables or old gangster type 90s movies. I mean, 90s movies that were shooting things that happened in like the 1920s is what I'm saying. Those kind of movies. It had like that 90s film look about old gangster shit. And it was old Gotham. We have Batman, young Batman. Everyone looks different. I love when they do this. I love when they go outside the realm of the universe and they just do whatever the hell they want. They could even tie this into the Joaquin Joker world if they wanted to. I don't know why they would or if they want to. I mean, I'm just saying it could because we saw a young Batman in that and young Batman saw the world go insane at the end when the Joker took over and then at the end the Joker's in the hospital and you're like, did all that even happen? It's kind of like an ambiguous ending. Like, what do we believe? Because it's in the mind of a madman. But this could follow up from that. Maybe this is like... Gotham the way it turned after the Joker kind of thing. I don't know if they're going to go that way. They'll probably just keep it side-lined, maybe connected if they feel the need at some point. But right now, I feel like it's just a solo story. I don't know if any of that's been confirmed. I haven't really followed this as much as I have other things like Marvel movies and stuff. They've rebooted Batman so many times, I've kind of lost the allure of like freaking out about it. But I'm not lying. This was very well done. I'm very into this, way more hyped about it than I originally was. I was going to see it regardless, probably opening day. I mean, it's Batman. So opening day, I was going to go see it. But I like am excited now. I mean, March, we got two months. I don't know if there'll be another trailer. There probably will be. I feel like there'll be a final trailer because this is the bat and the cat. I feel like we've had other trailers. I don't remember the names of them, but maybe they had other things to do. Like the Riddler, I feel like was the first trailer. Very predominant in it. Maybe the Penguin was the second, or maybe that's what's coming. I can't remember, because I remember there being a lot of these. This is one of those movies that's been delayed for years. So you guys let me know what you think. I am jumping into a Cobra Kai predictions interview with all the cast of the series. So I'm going to watch that and then give my own predictions. And we're going to talk about spoilers and stuff like that. So if you guys want, and you're interested in Cobra Kai stuff, go check that out. If not Patreon link in front of me, full unedited episodes, all the shows on the channel and hundreds of exclusives that you only see there. Check it out. If not comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.